Today we're playing with fire. Stay with me. Okay, so today I want to show you how to make a cotton ball fire starter because it's quick and really easy and you can pack them really well. So you get a cotton ball and um, some Vaseline. This one's lavender and chamomile. And I've never actually used this kind, so it'll all work the same, but it might smell like a candle when I'm done. So just get a blob of it and start massaging it in. And just get it all Vaseline up. Put it in here and just fold it in. And when you're done, it should be a nice little pocket. And your cotton ball is in here. Okay. And then you will take a knife and cut an X in it and fold them up. And you'll pull a little bit out. And this is the base. And then you'll have a candle. So let me clean up and I will show you how fast and how long it burns. Okay. So we got this, just take a knife. And you... Okay, I wanted to list some upsides of making these candle things. Um, it's like less than 10 bucks to buy a jar of Vaseline, a roll of aluminum foil, and a whole bag of cotton balls. That gives you what? 500 probably candles for less than 10 bucks and they last like 15 to 20 minutes So you make those they're not just candles. They're fire starters You can put them inside of a tinder bundle thing And you don't have to worry about the aluminum foil because it's metal so it just like It all burns out and then you just have to aluminum and crush it up So they're fast. They're cheap and you can use them for a lot of things. You don't have to use them for fire. You, well, like candles, you can use them to start fires. You can use them to just, I don't know, you know, birthday candles if you have to. So they're pretty, pretty versatile. And that's an upside for this kind of thing that you're making. 